Okay. So this is a video lesson for week eight. Okay, if we look at the schedule, which I often say, week eight video class and the content, review of the midterm test, and then also practice writing the summary and response from page 97. Okay, so I'm going to go through those two things in this video lesson for week eight. So first, let's start with the review of the midterm test. So what I'm going to do is I will send myself a copy of the test and I will go through each question just like as if I was doing the test like you guys were. Okay, so here's the link in the chat. I open that up. And then if I share my screen again, here is the test. Okay, so let me just go through each question Generally, everybody did very well. Um, I was quite impressed and happy that most people did quite well. The most common questions that people struggled on were the questions about the common writing mistakes, but those were probably the hardest questions as well. So don't worry too much if those were the ones that you struggled on because everybody or a lot of people did. Okay, here we go then. So just gonna start with the first question. Choose the correct answer for this sentence. The summer in Korea is, so we're gonna use a comparative adjective, hot, one syllable, one part. So the correct answer is hotter. The summer in Korea is hotter than the summer in England, okay? So in the past, the most common error here would be students writing more hotter. But I think everybody, most people got this one correct. So that was encouraging. The next two questions are related to unit two, because and because of. So the question says, fill in the blank using because or because of. Polar bears are going extinct blank habitat loss. And I'll just read the next one. Tigers are going extinct, blank. They are losing their habitats. Now the key to these questions is to look at the word that comes after the blank. This will kind of give you a hint about whether you should use because or because of. Okay, so in the first one, it says habitat loss. In the second one, it says they. Now, if I just stop this for a second, I can pull up the unit two information about this. Okay, so this is taken from your book, unit two. We can just find the page number, or we might as well. The page number is 52, page 52. So it says, because is a conjunction which introduces a reason, it is followed by a subject, a verb, and sometimes an object. Because of is a two word preposition, meaning as a result of, it is followed by a noun, a pronoun, or a noun phrase. Okay, so which one had the noun, back to the test, it's the first one here. Polar bears are going extinct, <clears throat> blank, habitat. Habitat is a, a noun, habitat loss is a noun phrase. So the answer is because of. Polar bears are going extinct because of habitat loss. The second one, tigers are going extinct because they are losing their habitats. <clears throat> the subject. 
they is the subject. Okay, so I think everybody got these ones correct, but it's always good to review. Next question is another adjective question. The blank thing I have ever done is a skydive. Again, so this is when you're using comparative adjectives, but also superlative. Dangerous, more dangerous, most dangerous. So for this one, the most dangerous thing I have ever done is a skydive. Usually, the best way to do it is just to see which answers do not work. And the other two, grammatically, just do not work. OK, so again, most people got that right. The next two questions are related to unit one, connecting, combining sentences. OK, so we're going to choose the correct answer here. The first one. The polar bear hunts seals and meat, blank. The koala bear eats only eucalyptus tree leaves. So we're comparing the polar bear, the koala bear. We want to show the difference between two different things. So in this case, if you referred to your book, you would see that the answer is, but, or whereas. Both of these words would be okay. The polar bear hunts seals and meat, whereas the, co the koala bear eats only eucalyptus tree leaves. Or you could use the word but. Okay, so you're showing how two things are different. Next one. Crocodiles hunt other animals. Crocodiles usually swallow their prey whole because they do not have sharp teeth. Okay, so there's no comparing two different things. It's one thing, a crocodile, and we're showing details. We're explaining about the features of the crocodile. So we're not gonna use but whereas. It's gotta be the first answer choice or the last answer choice. But the last answer choice also is using two nouns, isn't it? When we use both or neither. If you refer to your book, that one is also using two, in this case, if you wanna use two animals, but this has one animal. So the answer is and. Crocodiles hunt other animals and usually swallow their prey whole because they do not have sharp teeth. Okay, next question. This is about uh, cause and effect. Most people do not write or send letters anymore. The reason for this is we now use emails or chatting apps. What does sentence B describe? Okay, so the first sentence A, most people do not write or send letters anymore. B, the reason for this is. Okay, so the first sentence is the effect. The second sentence is the cause. If you see the reason for this is, basically the same as the cause. The cause of this is, the reason for this is, okay? So those are both the same um, meaning. So the answer to this one is the cause. The effect is sentence A. Next one, my mother blank go to bed before 10 p.m. Fill in the blank with the correct answer. Is it tend to or is it tends to? Well, we already talked about if the noun is a single noun, my mother, one, then you use tends with an S. My mother tends to go to bed before 10 p.m. Now we have a vocabulary question. The Great Barrier Reef is one of the largest marine ecosystems in the world. Now we have another cause and effect question. Which sentence does not show a cause and effect situation? <clears throat> okay, so let's just go through them all. The first one, as a child, I used to live in France, Germany, and Spain. That's why I love learning languages. 
that does show us a cause and effect. The cause, I lived in France, Germany, and Spain. The effect, I love learning languages because I lived in many different countries. Second one, she doesn't drive her car very well. She also doesn't know how to ride a bicycle. Now, is there any, if, is there any relationship between these two sentences? No, there are just two different facts about whoever this person is. She doesn't drive her car very well. And she also doesn't know how to ride a bicycle. This is the correct answer. Let's just read the next two. There are so many cars on the road and there are more factories too. Cause, this is why air pollution is worse. Effect. He failed his driving test three times. Cause, his father makes an extra effort to teach him how to drive and to let him practice more. Effect. Okay, keep going. Which one of these sentences is not a solution to traffic and congestion problems? We should make the subway cheaper. We should increase the number of buses. We should help people buy cars by lowering the price of cars. We should encourage people to ride bicycles more. Right, lowering the price of cars would result in there being more cars. More cars does not solve the problem of traffic congestion. Right now then, here we go. The first question related to common writing mistakes. I wanted to went to park yesterday, but I couldn't because it rained all day. How many mistakes are there in the above sentence? <clears throat> right now, the answer is two. I wanted to go, because it's yesterday, I wanted to go to we need an article. I wanted to go to the park yesterday, but I couldn't because it rained all day. So we're missing an article before park and went is the wrong tense. Two mistakes. The correct sentence is, I wanted to go to the park yesterday. Now you could say I wanted to go to a park, but probably it would be the park. I already know which park I wanted to go to, so I would say the park. That doesn't really matter in this question. You just have to see where the mistakes are. Next one is also common writing mistakes. Which two words fill the blanks in this sentence best? So this is using the correct form of adjectives. I think romantic comedy films are boring. I am also bored whenever I watch documentaries. Okay, so this is reviewing. If you're describing the thing, you use ing. If you're describing your feeling, you use ed. Romantic comedy films are boring. I am also bored whenever I watch documentaries. Next question, choose the correct word to complete the sentence. In case of an emergency, you all need to leave the building immediately. Which two words are synonyms in this sentence? So we've got work, hard, make, produce. So hopefully everybody realizes make is a synonym with produce, three and four. We need more public transport in the city. What is the best synonym for the word need? Require. Here's another 10 to 2 question. Use the correct form of the word in brackets to avoid overgeneralizing. Thai food is spicy. Thai food is not always spicy, so we need to, to change the overgeneralization. We're going to use 10 to. Thai food uncountable noun. So it's also tends, oh, sorry, not that one, tends to be. Thai food tends to be spicy. Thai food tends to be spicy. Because we've got this verb is, that's why we use be, tends to be. 
where should the word can be placed in this sentence to avoid overgeneralizing? Expensive gifts can look suspicious before the main verb. What type of writing mistake is in this sentence? She woke up and made coffee. Coffee should not have a capital C. It is incorrect capitalization. How many mistakes are there in this sentence? She likes playing soccer with she's friends. Okay, soccer has an incorrect S, uh, sorry, incorrect capital S. It's not she's friends, it's the wrong possessive pronoun, her friends. How many mistakes? Two. She likes playing soccer, small s, with her friends. Okay, another common writing mistake question. How many mistakes are there in the sentence, I eat toast for breakfast this morning, this morning? You're talking about the past this morning. So it's not eat, it should be I ate. One mistake. I ate toast for breakfast this morning. Okay. Next question. Which word will best complete this sentence? I enjoy traveling because I enjoy experiencing other cultures. Now it says which word will best complete this sentence. If you refer to your book, cultures is mentioned when they talk about traveling and why traveling is enjoyable. It's because you can experience and you can experience other cultures. Okay, relationships does not work as well as cultures here. R grammatically, relationships works, but the word choice, cultures is definitely better. Next, in some, uh, sorry, which word will best complete this sentence? In some countries, people do not expect a woman to change her last name when she gets married. Where should we put the adverb often in this sentence? Saudi men, often wear traditional clothing, even to business meetings. This was taken from the book directly. So you should, everybody I think did get this one and you should have gotten it. Where should we put the adverb usually in this sentence? In some South American countries, men usually shake hands, though it is not unusual for men to kiss each other on the cheek too. How many mistakes are there in these two sentences? Pubs are very popular in England. In fact, there are four pubs in the town where I live. Okay, well, the first sentence is fine. The next sentence, there should be a capital I. Every sentence, every new sentence must start with a capital letter. So the first mistake is there is no capital letter at the start of the sentence. And then there is an incorrect capital letter after the comma. There, that word does not need a capital T. So there are two mistakes. I should be capital I, T should be a small t. Okay, that is it. Now, questions about supporting details. What type of supporting detail is in this sentence? There are over 500 McDonald's restaurants in my country. That is a fact or a statistic. When you use numbers, it's a statistic. There are over 500 McDonald's restaurants. Now, what about this one? There are so many streaming services available these days, such as Netflix, Amazon Prime, and Hulu. Okay, so now we're giving examples such as is language to give examples. The examples of streaming services are Netflix, Amazon Prime, and Hulu. 
In academic writing, you should not start a new sentence. Sorry, you should st not start new sentences with which words. This is taken from the Common Writing Mistakes uh, video lesson. And in that lesson, I said to you, do not start new sentences with the words and or but. If you want to start a new sentence with the word and, you could say furthermore, in addition. If you want to start a new sentence with the word but, you can use however. Okay, so do not start new sentences with these words. There are several ways to respond to an author's ideas. Which one is not a way to respond to an author's ideas? So this was taken from the unit four, which we studied in week six. It's on page 95. Copying the author's words and pretending they are your words is not a way to respond to an author's ideas. That is actually plagiarism. OK, so that is definitely wrong. OK, so now we come to the three questions where I asked you to write a little bit. And again, most people did this fine. In fact, mostly where people got a minus point here, it was where they didn't follow the rule of the question. So the first one, write one comparative adjective sentence. I think everybody got this fine. You're just going to compare two things. My brother is older than me. Simple, older. So that was fine. Now this next one, here's a few people wrote. Well, look at the question. Answer this question in two or three sentences only. What did you do yesterday? Maybe a few people got confused and they mistake, they mistook the word sentence for words. Some people just wrote two or three words. So if you did that, you definitely got some minus points. Two or three sentences. Okay. Now, what did you do yesterday? So you have to use past tense verbs. Here's just an example answer. Yesterday, I went to the animal hospital. That's the first sentence. Now we need two or three, so at least two. I also watched a Netflix show called The Serpent. Okay, so that would be fine as an answer. It's two sentences. It has past tense verbs. Okay, totally fine, everybody or this person would get three points. And like I said, most of you did this fine, but there were just a few students who didn't write enough. Likewise, for the last question, write one paragraph of six to 12 sentences. So that means you must write at least six. You can't write more than 12. There were a few students who did not write enough sentences. And if, if they did that, then they didn't get all of the five points. Okay, so what is a problem in your life now and how can you solve it? Use details and examples. Now, I'm not gonna write an answer here. Most of you answered this fine. Most students wrote about money problems, studying problems, sleeping problems, laziness part-time job, kind of future direction, their major. So mostly everybody did this fine. But I just want to say it's very important that you read the question carefully. Okay, if it says six to 12 sentences, then you have to write six to 12 sentences. All right, so I think that's probably enough for the midterm test review. And like I say, generally, everybody did 
pretty well. Okay. Now for your for your score, um, what I'm going to do is I will make a folder in somewhere in the smart campus. Okay, so I just want to maybe show you quickly. I can't really show you because I haven't made it yet, but this is a video for week eight. Okay, so also in week eight, I will make, I'm going to make two assignment folders. One of them will be for the next part that I'm going to explain to you, which is a summary and response writing assignment. But the other one is going to be the midterm test score. Now I'm going to put I'm going to put it in an assignment folder. It is not an assignment. You don't have to write anything. It's just the easiest way for me to give you your midterm test score. OK, I think at this point, maybe it'd be quite useful for me to use the chat. Week eight, there will be two assignment folders. One, oops, one will be week eight writing assignment, which I will explain in a minute. The other one, you don't have to write in it. You do not need to write in it. It will just show you your midterm test score. Okay, well, I will explain this more again uh, in an uh, announcement in week eight. But I just wanted to put that there for now. Right, so it's halfway through this video lesson. So actually, I'm going to stop the recording of this one, and then I'm going to make one more, and it will be the summary and response explanation. Okay, writing practice summary and response, page 97. Okay, so I'll put that in the next part. There's going to be two videos. This is the first one, and then there'll be the second one.